high subscribers, uh, high viewers. Uh, you know, recently there's been so much news about uh, the collapsing banking system in China. And uh, if we go way back, uh, we saw the Evergrande, uh, the, they call it Evergrande, but I call it Evergrande uh, uh, group uh, problems. Uh, in details labeled it's the collapse of the housing market in china if you watch global news and um now you cannot talk about uh the chinese systems uh without comparing them to the u.s situation really uh i'm not gonna go into the banking system yet that's for another video let's go to to the housing market if you do remember like uh, just a few months ago uh, I bought a property I uh, sorry I bought a property in Tianjin uh, which we're still waiting for it to finish I'll come back to this property in detail so um, in buying this property I got to meet a lot of Chinese people and uh, some construction people some friends and everything and a few months after that, we had the Evergrande scandal, crisis, I call it a fiasco, really. Uh, what happened is, uh, the world scared me so much. I can say the news, the Western news scared me so much that I've started making some inquiries, like, oh, is this the new uh, Lehman Brothers uh, uh, scandal, which is going to cause a global recession? Are we not going to see am i not going to see am i going to see my property being not finished in Tianjin because we bought the house the property which was still under construction so that was funny because every time i spoke to a chinese person they will tell me ah oh, don't worry the government will take care of it the government will take care of it and uh, you know it didn't ease me at all but they were explaining that you know, every situation in China, if anything goes wrong, someone goes to jail, someone has to be held accountable. That's a fair government system. And that's an honest government system uh, in the world. I can say that's the best uh, government system in the world where someone has to be held accountable. And now let me go to the Lehman uh, Brothers uh which collapse uh lehman brothers collapse which caused uh the global recession and i want to understand i want you to understand the difference systems uh, the u.s system and uh banking system uh house property everything is different the government system they're all different and i'll explain why they're different before the end of the video so stay tuned the Lehman Brothers, uh, I remember at the time I was in the UK, it caused a severe global recession. It, uh, it caused a severe global recession. And what happened at that moment is, uh, I remember uh, watching on the news and it just became a daily routine. Um, I watch a lot of news channels myself. And I don't even rely on one news channel. I watch a lot so that I can compare and analyze the news to find to do some fact finding to do my own research and search out the truth so china was buying some british companies some german companies and uh, it was bailing them out and buying them out and u.s companies so during the last uh, global recession which was caused by uh, the lehman uh, brothers uh, scholars China rescued the world and it is not unless if you're not really following up on currents on, 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 on the situation and on the development of the news or any global development situation you would have missed out a lot now we're coming back so I want to explain the, basically to make the story short about Lehman Brothers I was trying to explain that Lehman Brothers caused the global recession now i'm going back to um, um, now i'm going back to evergrande now with evergrande like i said everyone was reassuring me 
that I don't have to worry about that pro property being unfinished. The government will take care of it. Now the issue is you come to realize that uh, the Chinese government system is a system that put its citizens first. There won't be bailing of banks, there won't be bailing of companies, but the government put some measures to make sure that those people, that they do not lose their investments. Of course, if you see an uprising, people protesting, they are angry with an institution. That could be the bank, that could be the property developer, that could be because they've been let down. It's not like they are angry at the government, is for say. They are angry at those people, those companies that would have promised them um, what they agreed on. So a property developer, when they fail to finish the, the property, the government is not going to come. Like in the US, we saw the government, when there's a crisis or recession or whatever it is, the government bails those same businesses which cause the same problem. And uh, it does bail the banks. That's not the case here in China. That's not the case here in China. If there's a situation, the government arrests those uh, in charge, those who cause the fault. And uh, the bankers, or it could be the, constra the, constra the property developers, they go to jail. And uh, instead of rescuing the, the property uh, developing companies, and uh, instead of rescuing the banks, the government will make sure that the, the people, the citizens, get their money back. They get their investment back. That's the difference between uh, Western government style and uh, Chinese government style. I can't say the Eastern because not all the country, uh, countries and, uh, are not the same. I can say majority of Western government styles. You see the British, the French, the the Germans and I, I can I can go I can go on I can go on and go on. They they influence so much by capitalists and uh, they influence by the lobbyists. So politicians don't have any proper control to protect their own people. People who vote for them. They just want to do certain things just to infiltrate and make sure that those at the top of the table have bigger meals than those at the bottom of the table who pay for the meals thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel like the video and uh, leave a comment